National Weather Service now says this widespread damage was caused by an EF4 tornado. Oh. That's one level below the most powerful tornado there is. Yeah, we don't certainly see those much. Um, it was one of those tornadoes that touched down in Tennessee and did all that damage. 24 people killed by that tornado, most of them uh, killed by that EF4 that was in Putnam County. Channel 9's Dave Faraday has been there since yesterday, and today he found, well, endless destruction. Well, we've seen volunteers from both North Carolina and Virginia trying to help with all this damage here in the Cookville area. If you look behind me, you can see some of the extensive damage here. The winds took the roof right off this condominium. That one right there where the grain is at. The Jennifer Dandrum showed us where her and her husband have been trying to help a neighbor recover after the storm destroyed much of what they own. It struck in the middle of the night, killing 18 people here in Cookville, including some of Dandrum's friends. One of them was a really close friend, her and her little girl. And the people that still miss it, it's just, it's, it's hard. It's hard to believe. More than two miles from Dandrum's neighborhood, Jennifer Carter says she got an alert on her phone that woke her in time. Several homes nearby were leveled by the twister. She'll never forget trying to reach her children as the house came apart. And we had very little time to prepare for it. Um, we had about 10 seconds. My kids had to crawl across the glass. The back of our um, house blew in. Across the street, Billy Lee sits through what he has left after the storm destroyed his home. He and his wife huddled together as the tornado ripped the roof off. That's the only room standing in our house. Leith and his neighbors are thankful for the volunteers, many of whom they don't know. Who are in Cookville trying to help. Trying to tell me they so sorry, you know, that they're on this way and I don't want them to feel that way. And Samaritan's Purse is here in Cookville as well, putting tarps up on some of the roofs ahead of possible rain returning to this area of Tennessee. Back to you, John.